Today we're going to talk about one of our favorite ways to use rabbit meat. So I think one of the things that is most commonly encountered, I suppose, with rabbit owners and something that we hear a lot, whether it's in forums or people asking us directly in emails, is just how to cook rabbit, what to do with rabbit. Is rabbit good? What does it taste like? And this is something that is so personal for people, it's really hard to answer sometimes. But today I wanted to show you one of the ways that we find it so simple to use the rabbit meat. I think that's one of the things that really got us at the beginning is we butchered all of our rabbits and we just kept them whole. We froze them in vacuum sealed bags, put them in the freezer, and then went, now what? And uh, over the nine years of raising the Champagne d'Argents, we have really realized that uh, freezing them whole doesn't work for us. And I don't think it works for a lot of people, to be honest. Um, we have a video, I'll link it above because I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's on how we take the meat and we debone it. We save some parts for X and we grind the rest for ground rabbit. Ground rabbit is amazing. You use the medium gauge uh, um, circle thingy doodah to cut it up on your uh, grinder. How's that for technical? But uh, another thing that we also do is a pulled rabbit. So we're going to talk about that today. So what we have here are three whole rabbits that we had butchered. Um, we actually butchered them a couple weeks ago and then they got put out in the porch and then they got frozen. And so we've just left them frozen till that point. So now we've defrosted them and uh, basically cleaned them, rinsed them, and now they're back in the uh, roaster pan. And when we do a pulled rabbit, so to speak, it's kind of like that. I don't put any seasoning on it. So you could marinate these, you could do a barbecue sauce that you base throughout the cooking process. Same way you would, uh, or, or same way you would have pulled pork, basically. You could bung it in a slow cooker if you had that, if you want that sort of um, flavoring on your meat. Now we do this in bulk, as you can see, we're doing three rabbits at once here. Now this is going to end up being probably about eight meals for us at least. And so we leave it plain. Um, that way we can just bag it and bring it out and use it for whatever we want. This is something that we often use in curries and uh, stir fries and chicken, uh, I always say chicken salad, rabbit salad sandwiches, I guess you could say. Uh, but anyways, we're going to get them going in the process. When I actually get them out of the oven and we're sorting out the meat once it's cooked, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the ways we use this. But I just wanted to say that you could make it more like a barbecued pulled pork rabbit right from the get-go. It's amazing. It's just, this is a quick way for us to do a mass number of rabbits, get the meat off and get the next round in. And it also takes up a lot less space in the freezer, which as many of you know, is quite a dilemma for us. Uh, but what I take is one liter of water and just pour that in just so that they can kind of steam. The other thing that's really nice about uh, the water once you've got um, them cooked is you have a really nice broth that you could then either process and can or for us we just freeze it and use it for cat food or chicken food uh, to drizzle on top because they love it and it has a good little protein source as well. I will admit I'm not a huge fan of rabbit broth for cooking with for making soups things like that it just isn't the family's thing but that doesn't mean that it wouldn't be yours and that doesn't mean that it's not useful. So I've got my one liter of water in here. As I said, we're not seasoning these at all. It's just going to be plain, but you're welcome to use a rub or anything like that on them. So I do them at 350 and usually for about two hours. Um, I check them at about an hour and 15 minutes, take the lid off, bring them out and just see. But what you really wanna see when they are finished, when you go to pull off the meat, much the similar to a chicken, when it's nicely cooked, it will just fall off the bone. Uh, that's what you want to see with this as well. So we're going to get them covered up again. There we are. And then once the oven is temperature, these are going to go in and I will bring you back when we've got them ready to go. So there we go. We've taken it out of the oven and I've given it a little bit of time to cool off. It's still kind of hot to touch, but I'm going to demonstrate here what I mean about the meat just kind of falling off the bone. Just wonderful. And basically what I'm going to do is take all of it off, put it into a separate bowl, and then we're going to bag this up to be a bunch of different meals. 
And we're actually going to eat some tonight as um, taco meat, like uh, fajitas. So uh, super excited for that. But there you go. It's basically that simple. You're going to remove, we remove everything. Sometimes I cut it up into bite-sized pieces that I would want. Sometimes I don't. Uh, just depends what I'm going to be using it for. But then this is great for taking out of the freezer for curries or stir fries or soups or stews. Uh, I do a really nice Cajun rabbit stew, which uses shredded um, rabbit. And uh, that's basically what this is. So we'll be making some of that again here shortly because I'm out of it in the uh, pantry. Abby, you don't need it. They do get some. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to get this all uh, deboned and then I will bring you back just to show you our big bowl of meat. And uh, yeah, that's the basic process of what we do. And I'm going to show you a couple meals that we have made with it. But to be honest, it's amazing what you get from three rabbits. If anybody's thinking about raising rabbits, believe me, it is worth it. Uh, so we ended up with, and we already ate a meal out of this, but we ended up with a whole big bowl. You can see it's not a little bowl. That's a good, probably five more meals for us. We also got almost two containers of food for the cats. We do make our own cat food. I think we have a video. I'll link it above. Uh, out of all our home scraps and things like that, as well as some nice meat. We're not too mean to them. And all the bones are heading out to the chickens tomorrow. We're having curry. It, oh, it smells delicious. Can you, can you actually see it? Oh, it looks wonderful. And here's one of the ways that we use this rabbit meat, this pulled rabbit meat. Tonight for dinner, we are having wraps, taco wraps. So we've got our pulled rabbit in there and then we've added some of our home cooked beans and all sorts of good stuff. But just one way you could use this rabbit meat and it tastes amazing. We all just love this meal, and I actually made it with rabbit, not chicken. But look at that. Beautiful purple sweet potatoes and orange sweet potatoes. And with that apple smell, it just... Mm.